And welcome to Nye County. This is Thomas Gibson in Nye County, and with me is Chuck Augustine, my co-host. And we are discussing features and things that are going on, not only in Nye County, but around the world that affect us in Nye County. And uh, Chuck, uh, I'll let you open up on what we're uh, gonna be discussing tonight. Okay, first of all, the lines are gonna be open the whole show, so give it a go whenever. Uh, first of all, I'd like to put in a plug for all doors overhead, Wes. 727-7360. My garage door broke. I think it was an alien, which me and Tom were talking about before the show. Uh, I left, went shopping, came back, it was half down. And I was gonna wait till September and tinker with it myself, and my friend said, hey, call these guys. He came over, uh, they had to get parts. He called to let me know the status. What a, what a great company. So Wes, there's your plug. Uh, Next thing I'd like to talk about real quick is throw out an idea, this water issue that is all out nuclear war and perump between us and them. The Great Wall of China was built 2,300 years ago. It's 5,500 miles. More recently, for decades, oil has been pumped through the country. <laughs> There's a total of 2.5 million miles of pipe. There's 55,000 miles of crude oil trunk lines, which are from eight to 24 inches in diameter. Now all these accomplishments throughout the history of man, and here we are wondering how we can get water. And it, it's always astounded me how obvious it is that some people don't want us to get water, whether it be Pahrump or other places. They don't want us to have free energy. They don't want us to be healthy. They don't want all these things uh, because th how could they control us? Well, yeah, I, I lived it for a short time uh, in uh, the United States Virgin Islands on St. Croix, and there is no natural water source there outside of rain. And they do a couple things. First of all, all the water there is desalinated, and they have a big plant there that does the desalination. But also what's required is that have people have specific two-code guttering on their homes, and those gutters all go down into cisterns. And so there's a large cistern under your house, basically, uh, that, that collects uh, the rainwater, and it's used as, you know, for shower and gray water mm -hmm. purposes to also mm -hmm. help that. But um, I was, I saw something recently, somebody, uh, they but it was illegal to catch or capture rainwater right. in Oregon, I think it was, a place yeah. where it rains that often. <clears throat> and a person was even prosecuted for that. And I'm thinking how ridiculous that is because if you were able to, to harness your own water that, that came, you know, came onto your own property, um, that would you know, alleviate a lot of the water issues people have. I mean, even in the desert, it doesn't rain here very often, but when it does, it comes down in, in sheets. <laughs> and uh, if we had cisterns, uh, that would, Knock out, I would imagine maybe maybe eight to ten percent of of uh, gray water issues that people might have. Yeah, there's a million <clears throat> things. Barbara, you're on the line. You beat the flag man. Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, I was just uh, wanted to bring up where it said um, in the newspaper a while back. It said something about uh, the titanium in the water. Do you know anything about that? Uh I've heard that the underground testing. Oh, okay. The last I heard that was up in the Beatty area. Titanium? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if it's <clears throat> titanium or what kind of. Uh... Yeah, because titanium is not going to hurt anybody. That's an inert metal. Uh huh. I mean, I wouldn't well, think it would. But no, we what about have... in Pahrump? Is there any um, bad stuff in the water in Pahrump that we have to watch out for? <laughs> <laughs> That's a loaded question. Um, there, there's nitrates and nitrites which uh, filter down through uh, animal feces uh, when, the, when, the, uh, when there were more uh, dairy cows and whatnot. And when the dairy was in full production here, I, I, supposedly the uh, nitrite and nitrate level was, was a little bit higher um, around in, well, in, the, in the water uh, basin near the, uh, the farms. And, but of course it leaches throughout, so there's always, there's, there was some raised nitrate and nitrate level, and those uh, are allegedly uh, possible carcinogens. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, that's the only one I've heard of either. Uh, other than that, I've heard it's been pretty, uh, pretty good, darn good. 
up until this debate over. Uh, yeah, the, and see, you got to remember too is um, who did you hear that from? Because you know, there's there's a, a certain amount of people that want to scare folks out of uh, having wells. They want to have people here and buy a house, uh, you know, on the land that they own, but they don't want to. Uh, they don't want people to have have. Uh, uh, th their own water resources, because if they do, then then th those people can't be um, uh, forced to have uh, city water on a uh, or and uh, city sewer. Huh. Well, I drink a lot of bottled water just in case uh, they do some more testing underground or there's any earthquakes. <laughs> now you got to worry about the plastic contamination, but there's always something to worry about. That's for sure. Okay, well, thank you. Thank, thank you, Barbara. <clears throat> okay, uh, moving on. Uh, tonight's subject in between calls is going to be medical marijuana. And uh, I started off on this subject about six months ago. Somebody asked me for some information off the Internet, and I gave it to them, and I got, kind of got hooked. And since I'm on uh, medical marijuana? Well, yeah, on the research <laughs> behind it, and hemp and all this other thing. And most Americans have no clue of the history of this subject. Right. It is far more extensive than what we've been led to believe. Uh, real quick, some of the background is hemp's probably the first crop ever uh, found in, in the world, in civilization. It goes back 10,000 years ago. Uh, Carl Sagan said it may be <laughs> truly the reason for civilization, that uh, we started organized based on hemp growing. Uh, the, the plant itself was a mainstay of numerous countries, including our own, for many uh, hundreds of, and thousands of years in some cases. Uh, not only for food, but medicine, <coughs> uh, for fabric, for uh, rope, twine, uh, newspapers. Uh, and it's incredibly uh, flexible. And basically, it can be used much like uh, chemicals are used. Right. And I would say that, that, that uh, hemp to other fibers is like aspirin is to other painkillers. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, they say aspirin is the miracle drug, but, but they try to scare everybody away from using it. Absolutely. And yet it works better than all the others. Right. And if you go back through <clears throat> the history, uh, one of the true uh, amazing things in the history, the true history of our country, not the BS we get through mainstream and education and all the rest. But back in uh, 1937, uh, there was a tax imposed on the growth of hemp. And it basically prohibited for you know, the vast majority of farmers the ability to grow hemp. And it cut them off at the knees. In many cases, it ruined uh, huge amounts of farmers. It uh, prohibited diversity. And of course, m most importantly to the ones behind it, it cut off competition for the chemical industry, which was just basically booming. And well, one of the key men behind it was the DuPonts. Of course. And, the, and also what's not known by most people is that, that um, the, the DuPonts, of course, are behind a lot of things. But, but uh, the cotton growers, who were extremely rich, and extremely powerful, especially during the antebellum time in, in the United States history, um, th that was a major uh, 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 competitor of the, uh, with the hemp trade. And basically, cotton put hemp out of business. Mm -hmm. But it should have been the other way around. Exactly. Uh, it's <clears throat> estimated that for every acre uh, of hemp that's grown, it equals the same amount of paper as produced by 4.1 acres of trees over a 20-year period. So the deforestation, uh, the chemicals, the toxic chemicals, all the other things that are put into our earth could be avoided through hemp. Another thing I learned that was uh, quite startling to me, but it shouldn't have been in a way, because nothing should startle me at this point, but uh, hemp oil is probably the most nourishing food in the world. It can, c contains the uh, biggest percentages of this linoic and linoic acids that are essential oils and uh, fatty acids for the body. 
And I've got a whole big uh, report here I dug up uh, that goes through the, the chemistry behind it. And basically, it ju it just it's like a lubricant for the body that makes the electrical flow, the chemical flows of the, the natural flows more efficient. Uh, it, it boosts the immune system. It does so many incredible things. And here we are banning it. Well, and then, then you, yeah, then uh, marijuana um, itself, um, I'm not promoting everyone go out and use marijuana because, I mean, actually a completely clean lifestyle is, is better than anything. But if people are going to do something, why? I mean, the hard drugs tear apart your liver and kidneys. Alcohol tears apart your liver, kidneys, and also your brain. Um, but... Um, but marijuana doesn't have as many bad things going for it. Now, mind you, it's, you know, you, you, if people that smoke the smoke, you know, it can get cancer just like anybody else. But on the other hand, they say that, that, uh, that uh, hemp in its purest form will actually cure cancer. So exactly. that's why I was con always confused how Bob Marley could have died of lung cancer because the guy uh, smoked more pot than, uh, well, I mean, he's always had a uh, ganja going. Right. And, and again, the, uh, the thing that you got to ask yourself is if it possibly has this many attributes. A, why is it prohibited and has been since 1937? And B, everyone keeps saying, where's, where's the research on this stuff? It's a very simple thing to do, especially for a plant that's been around 10,000 years. Well, and, and all the research that, that the government falls back on to make it illegal exactly. has been debunked many years. The reefer madness thing and like people smoking marijuana will attack and kill and rape. Matter of fact, it's just the opposite. I mean, when people, that, people on certain drugs rape and murder and people on alcohol do crazy things. But people on pot, all they want to do is raid a refrigerator and exactly, take a nap. Exactly, a munchie. So. Okay, we're going to go to break. Uh, we're looking for your calls when we come back.